Well, you know, that's three, but... Thank you, Kent, as uh, EA shoots his jumper over there. That's actually a better uh, stroke you got going on there. Your stroke is better. Your, your stroke is better tonight than it was the other night. Um, listen, um, I need to have a conversation with you because last night you were very rambunctious on Twitter uh, about the Mavericks. And I, I, didn't, I didn't feel like last night was the night. You were, I think you, the passion you had last night was the, the passion you should have had on Saturday night when they lost to uh, the Chicago Bulls. That's when you should have had the passion. Last night. That was, you mean Sunday? Whatever. Sunday, Saturday, whatever. When they lost, they 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 got an L. That's all you need to know this weekend. They got an L. They had two L's. They had L's all weekend. Lost to Milwaukee, then they lost to uh, Chicago, and they lost to the Raptors. But uh, but we'll, we'll start with the Raptors game, we'll, and we'll work our way back. Um, last night embarrassment. Wow. See, okay. Why do you call it an embarrassment? All right. Um, I know the Mavericks are missing four players that are crucial to their rotation. Uh, due to COVID, and we don't know when they'll come back. And when they come back, are they going to be up to normal? I don't know their symptom levels. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, so we'll see. Um, I know KP is coming back, and we're back in the rhythm, and we're waiting on him, too. Well, he's he's not back in rhythm yet. Yeah, he's I know. We're, we're waiting on him. Uh, and Luka Doncic, of course, doing his own thing. Uh, I know Rick Carlo wasn't there for most of that game. He got ejected some time in, the, I believe, either the first or second quarter. Yet... That was still an embarrassing effort level, and I have never seen the dumbest play of uh, basketball I've ever seen by this Maverick. I've never seen anything like it. Jump shot after jump shot after jump shot that were ill-advised. I felt like they were playing how I play 2K when I'm playing in my player mode, and the, the computer oh, kept showing me. just checking up jump shots? Yeah, and then this kid's telling me, bad shot, bad shot selection, bad shot selection, because that's all I saw from their young players. And uh, this dude, I can't pronounce his name, Awundu? Yeah, Awundu. Where's Awundu? Awundu. He yeah. needs to be in the G League. You need to ship his ass down right now. Wow, we coming from my he guys, where's Awundu? Uh, he don't belong in the NBA court right now. The way he was playing. And guess who needs to go with him? Mr. Hardaway Jr. after that performance. Wow. I can't believe what I saw. First of all, Tim Hardaway, I get it. You have a groin. You're recovering from a groin. Tim been light enough for you all season. Yeah. You want to send him to the G League? Well, after one game? <laughs> I'm just a little mad right okay. now. Okay, I'm sorry. I've I'm never just... seen zero points from a starter like that. Are you kidding me? Well, okay. Even, you okay. Know, okay. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Can I tell you something? Go ahead. Even Lamar Odom had one, 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 and one. Okay. In all fairness, <laughs> these guys have, have have had to play, what, four or five games in a row without really any substitution help. They've been playing a lot of minutes. Yes. So I'll give them that. That was that was my last night's game. And that's basically, that's playing a back-to-back. So they didn't really get any any rest. But, but Walt, they were tied at uh, But they don't have, they when I said they, they, they did miss their roster. They were. Now, Rick Carlisle. Uh-oh. 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 We'll hold, we had to pause it. Oh, of course we did. So, uh, audience members, when we do this, we have to do breaking news. No, no, Trump's still president for another, but five hours? Well. A, a few hours there. It, um, but when we play this music. It's because the highlight of tonight is here. He's the reason we're all here tonight. And I need to make it known that he is 2014's first round draft pick. How you doing today, man? Uh, we got him here. You were wondering. He's here at Tobosh10 on Twitter. Get over there and follow him. They talk God, sports, and porn. Not in that order. Now, how are you doing today, man? I like that mask you got on. How we doing, guys? And I like that jacket you got on. Well, thanks. Go Rangers. Go Rangers. I got a, I got a Rangers polo. It's probably going to be de- debuting on Thursday, too. Bring it out. Yeah, let's do it. This is the biggest it. Rangers fan. Well, yeah. Biggest Rangers fan in uh, in Dallas. Uh, Vosh, you're, you're new here. We're... I don't know if you saw this guy on Twitter last night. He, you know, he's getting getting a little rambunctious and out of hand. He was going in on the Mavericks. I, I think I, I screenshotted to you what this yeah. guy was doing. Um, you want to tell Tobias what you were just saying a few minutes? Oh, ago? I was saying that what I saw last night was a complete embarrassment by the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, and, I mean, those young guys. I, and I was talking about Awundu. Yeah, what's Awundu? Needs to get to the G League. He wants to. He wants to do him. In, he doesn't want to belong in the NBA court. And Tim Hardaway can go with him. Because <laughs> mm. mm. even Lamar Odom got at least one point in one game. <laughs> okay. So yeah, what was his? Good. What was his whole? He's upset that the Mary. Uh, if, 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 okay. Here's my thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand what we're going through right now. Mm-hmm. There's a lot four starters out due to COVID, and they're big parts of your rotation. 
Um, but that was just, I don't know what's going on with this team. I saw like four or five sequences where these young guys were just shooting up shots and then it was like, oh, I'm hero ball with KP down there on the post. Like, hey, I'm right here. Let's go. And they ignored him. They decided well, we're going to shoot. I, I saw a shot go in with only four seconds uh, or plenty of time on the shot clock. He was like, nope, I got it. I got to shoot it. Like, can I, can I, I interrupt you? Right, I need, I need, I want to make sure that I get this in context. Okay. Cause this came directly, yeah. this yeah. came directly from the account of at EA Sports DFW. There's a misspelling on there. Don't worry about that. Okay. I got it. Rick. Okay. You, you want to say Rick? Okay. Uh, and I want to, and I quote, um, note to Donnie and Mark and even Rick, Luca will leave this franchise if you don't fix this stuff now. I get COVID and they are missing some players, but this is getting embarrassing. Mm -hmm. This is from one Twitter account at EA Sports DFW. Get out there and follow it. You know what's funny? What's that? When I first saw it, I almost kind of had to agree with him. Mm, okay. Um, initially, mm -hmm. but then I started thinking about it, and then, then I called it an overreaction because he's watching the game, right? As he's tweeting, right, right, right. Which I mean, which is another no. It's like you know, watching the Cowboys game, you're always, you know, overreacting and getting, getting this, hot, get this dude off the team, just you know, fire this guy, fire this guy. So, which is what he normally does. I but. took it, I took it in stride, mm -hmm. took it with a grain of salt, and said, "Well, EA is wa watching the game right now." But at the same time, um, I did think in the back of my head, what goes on in negotiations with Luca when when it's time for negotiations with Luca and Cuban and Donnie and whoever else, Finley or who, you know whoever else. <laughs> and I, I mean, if you think about it though, Luca will look back mm -hmm. and say, you know, think about you know what ride it is. It's like it's not like Jerry Jones is going to come in here and money whoop Luca. When it comes to, you know, manipulating, hey, look, stay here, you know, this cowboy is a grow your brand. No, 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 no. It's just it's all about a guaranteed big ass contract that he's gonna get one day, maybe three hundred million dollars, four hundred million dollars, who knows at this point. Um gotta max him out. Cause these dudes are getting, you know, stupid ridiculous money. Paul George is with two hundred and twenty five million and it's just going up and up and up, which is a good thing. But this is why they need to be playing this season, because if they don't, that's gonna go lower down. Right. So I mean, yeah. When it's time for negotiations, he's going to think back. He's going to look back. He's going to look at his team and say, what the fuck do I have here? Like, what do I have going on here? And, yeah, I mean, I thought about that. I the, I the EA tweeted that, and you forwarded it to me. I thought about that. Like, like he is going to sit back and look at his team. He's not going to. Two weeks into we the season? We don't know how humble. You know, we don't know how Dirk like he is when it comes to money and not giving a shit about it. Like, Dirk really didn't care about the dollar bill. Right. So Dirk was all about loyalty. How much loyal is Luca? Like, how, is he that dude for DFW? Especially when Magic Johnson is already campaigning to get him over uh, in LA. And then his favorite player is LeBron yeah. out there on the yeah. West Coast. His mom is already hot, so she likes the beach. <laughs> so I mean, if you think about it, like, it could be possible if Luca walks at the end of his. Oh, contract. it's very. It's, I'm sorry, oh. but it's very possible. Are you, got, are you, you breaking some news or something? You got because he you got some type of insight. I'm, I'm glad you brought up. I'm, I'm glad you brought up the Dirk situation. Okay, they're two different players. Because do you remember where Dirk was in his third season with the Dallas Mavericks? Nobody thought about Dirk. Dirk wasn't thinking about oh, I'm, I'm going to go to LA and play with Kobe. Bryant. No, he was like, I'm so glad to be here in Dallas. <laughs> like that's it. Luca's like. I'm on top of the world. He's in the MVP conversation this year in his third season. No, no, you put y'all put him no, in the MVP was. conversation. I'm saying he is in the. You say, did you say he was? He, well, he is. What well, was? He was, was okay. whatever. He, was. he started. He was. He, yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not now. Well, actually, he's still in the odds. But anyway, uh, Luka Doncic was in the he MVP odds MVP and, and, and uh, in the uh, to start the season in his third season. That's crazy enough. He is not the same player as Dirk, guys. We got to start treating him like Luka and not Dirk Nowitzki. And there's a when you start treating him like that, you got to be like, oh shit, he could leave. Because what have you two told me since I've been here with the five years I've been with you? Dallas doesn't get free agents. Dallas doesn't keep people. Dallas doesn't do these things. Well, it's I'm, Dallas, Texas. What well, I'm kidding? Luca gonna stay? It, Luca can get courted by LeBron. He can get courted by Kawhi. He can get courted by oh hey, what's up, Luca? Come on! And he's like, why well, do I have to be here with these losers? Excuse me, I, I, I'm glad you brought this up because I wanted to call you out on something, sir. Go that, ahead. That really upset me uh, last night. Uh, I've seen you go hard on all these players, but you didn't go hard on Luca last night. Why is that? Luca only gave you 15 points last night. Well, um, when everybody else was, uh, when, listen. Oh, oh, whoa, I can't whoa, get whoa. my assist. Whoa, I can't whoa, get my whoa, assist. Hold on, 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 hold on. You told me this guy was the MVP, and he only gave whoa, me 15 whoa, whoa, points. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, listen, listen. Did you see what everybody else was doing? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't care about everybody else. 
You told me this guy was MVP. So that means he's supposed to take this game over and get this dub. Yeah. He okay. Should. What, what, what happened? Well, I'm sorry. He didn't have a. He didn't do it. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because there was another game that happened on Sunday. He didn't, uh, Bosch. Game. He didn't, he didn't want to talk about this game. He's wondering. This is a game that really upset me. And just, this is, listen, just go to it. You don't. You know, you're the host. You could change this into that thing. You I'm want. transitioning to it now. If no, you don't mind, please. Terrible I'll, transition. Yeah. Well, just sit back and wait. It's okay. coming because okay. you. This is your fault. This is happening. My fault. Yeah, because you pump this. You you doing all this pumping up, and I keep of, trying to tell Luke, you. Luke hears what I say. Bro, and and to, and to uh, piggyback off that, on, in the Raptors game, box, I was a little late coming home from work. I did not see that Rick Carlisle got tossed in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm giving the Mavericks a little bit of a leeway on that loss yesterday. They mm -hmm. didn't have Rick on the, to command him out there. And when you watch it, you can tell he wasn't coaching because the, the stuff they were doing out there was just ridiculous. Nothing was going right. Yeah, um, doing but their own thing. A, a lot of times when the head coach gets – tosses done by design right he wants to you know put a jolt into his team and it's up to his team to either lay it down and get beat by or 35 get up and play for their coach or you know make it competitive and the Mavericks didn't do that last night but uh, almost like in baseball just say hey it's, it's one in 72 yeah you know it's one it's one game that you didn't didn't ball in yeah but the first quarter down that's kind of early look at the Clippers you know, the Mavericks beat them by 50, but, I mean, and, look where and, they are now. Yeah. So, getting to the Chicago Bulls game, and I've made this known, Billy, uh, on our post-game show that we do, that we, we'll be back. Now that Billy has been released from medical uh, medical uh, care, we're going to be getting back together with this uh, post-game show. And the first time they played the Bulls, I made it known on the post-game show, the Mavericks struggle against, against teams that push that basketball. And the Chicago Bulls, when they, before they play, I said the Mavericks gonna push that ball. I mean, the Bulls gonna push that ball. Mavericks gotta be ready. You know, this whole walking the ball up the court and playing slow. You know, we get we praise Luka for playing at his own pace. Shit, you can't play at your own pace when you playing these dudes. I mean, these dudes they getting a the rebound and they already down the court. You got to be you got to be when they when they shoot the ball and they miss all this walking the ball down court. Now you got to keep running. I don't I don't understand that and. They got ran right out the gym again for the second time against the Bulls. So uh, that game was there was there the one that upset me. And what upset me the most was Vosh, you remember, um, that year of 2016. Okay. And I was saying, man, you know what? The Mavericks need to draft a guy. I actually I wanted Tatum, and I said, Lori Markin is a guy that the Mavericks need to draft. You know, I heard a certain person here, DFW Radio, and they say, well, we don't want to draft Lori Markin because he's a dirt starter kid. You don't want to have that here again. That's and now, call and now, and now, what did I see on Sunday? I saw Lori Markin tearing uh, KP ass up out there on the court. I mean, threes, getting to the basket. He KP couldn't do nothing with him in I, the paint. No, I agree that KP got worked. He got worked. But can I ask you a question? Why are you like this guy who like waits four years? <laughs> that was four years ago, and now you're like, when Markin has one good game, <laughs> uh, he's been had. He's also yeah, he's I know, but it's games. like you wait. But your guy, this yeah. is the guy that Tova, yeah. and this is the guy that Tova has been telling you about uh, with KP. Your guy no, got no, your guy KP no, that no, you no, advocate no, for. No, he got twenty nine. He got twenty. Tova just says the only problem with KP is that he's gonna get injured. Yeah, but he tells you that they shouldn't do the trade. He was telling you that, that, that no, that the trade was overhyped because of only an injury. But he said yeah, the whole thing was overhyped. Back me up. If it wasn't for his injury concerns, you would love KP a lot more, right? The Knicks won a trade. <laughs> Thank if, you. No, I'm saying if he wasn't like the injury. the Knicks won a trade. But hold on, but see, Hulu, Hulu has live sports. What? Hulu has live sports. I want an endorsement, sports. Hulu. Oh. But, no, see, but, uh, <laughs> but see, to, <laughs> to his point, though, yeah. uh, see, you came in here and did the same thing. You were you were praising the Mavericks about how how they oh they finagled they played Rip, Phil Jackson about getting Dennis Smith Jr. They did, yeah, they oh they finagled him they so did. much they that they traded him. What to the Knicks, the, to, the trade him to Phil Jackson. What did the Knicks was, have? Picks, and they, they haven't used them much. Hey, hey yet. wait a minute, ain't they ain't they playing good right now? They are. They, they are playing they're very like, good. They're like oh uh, eight I love how you look like right now. They're playing good in the East and the eight playing, seed and all they're that. They're better than your, okay. your Mavericks right, right now. Right now, we're not doing so well. Great. And, oh, and you know who else they're playing good with? Julius Randle. Remember they say he wasn't a good fit here? And he's actually balling. Look, there's a lot Hold of... On. You can't... See, that's the problem. I, I have a problem with you right here. Mm -hmm. You got him on side. Yeah. Listen, you. Oh, Julius Randle's not a good fit here, and then you. Go, I didn't say that. You said that. No, no, no. no. Y'all said that. I, your fan, your fans. No, my fan, my fan base. Wait, remember, right. remember, okay. you are DFW media. Yeah. You, you are there. I, I gotta remember. He puts blame. Yeah, <laughs> you are. But go ahead, go ahead, sir. I don't even know what I'm doing. Go ahead, sir. Okay, but Julius Randle, you say he's. Uh, they say he's not a good fit here. 
but in another place where he is doing maybe a fit, right? He's going out, right? So what makes you think, oh, well, he should be here now? Because all of a sudden, it doesn't make sense. It's all, it does not counterproductive. See, it doesn't put it together. Does, it does because when, when you, you think Julius Randle will play well everywhere. No, I don't think he'll play everywhere. Will I he play he'll, well here? He'll play here, okay. well here with the man. But you know why, though? Because you guys tell me how good of a coach Rick Carlisle is. Rick Carlisle, you, yourself. Rick Carlisle can get the best out of any here's player, right? Here's the problem. You want to hate on Rick Carlisle so much, so then you do all these I'm things. Here, I'm sitting here praising Rick Carlisle. No, listen. No, you're not. How am I, how am I not? I'm you flip flop. I do love one day you're loving him, and next day you're like, oh, I don't Rick have Carl's, Rick. You I, do sarcastic. Oh, Rick Carl's the greatest head coach go ahead, of all Box, time. What you got? I do get mad though when when a lot of people are saying uh, when you hear a lot of times, oh, that person doesn't fit into the Mavericks. Uh, style or he shoot he shoots too much. Or he this scores. person doesn't do this well, or this person doesn't do this well. Um, that that number seventy seven guy. Yeah, like people can actually play around him because he. He pretty much controls the way the game flows and the tempo and the motion style offense that they run. And so, like, I, I really don't understand when you know, this guy can't come in here. Oh, Andre Drummond can't come, can't come in here because he yeah, because Mike down. Peasley told him that he would he would get in the ring. You said that. You came in here oh, and said that. Oh, hold on, on who? Andre Drummond. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, would Lucas, about, he would get in Lucas. He would get in Lucas' way. He would get in Lucas' way. Like, 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 I I hate I hate when me. I hate when I hear when I hear oh well this guy this guy is not the fit or this guy's not the fit. You know why um, that's why they say that, Bosh? Why is that? Because if he when when a player comes here and scores more than Luca, they don't want that. They want Luca to only score. That's that, not true. That's what the whole thing I like, is. I like KP scoring too. Do you? He well, well where's he been? He just came back. So, know, but whenever they say that to you, when they say that he he doesn't play, he won't fit the scheme, is because he's going to shoot the ball, he's going to take the ball out of Luca's hand, so Luca won't be able to do it. He's going to do. Luca so, won't get okay, his triple doubles. Right, so, right. right. so we do. This is what I hate. We're gonna we do a lot and on this show, and this is kind of want to change this going forward. Twenty twenty one. Let's do something. You can change it yourself. You, no, you, I want you don't speak I, to me. I, I want you two to change too. With this. No, I'm right. not. Let's try. Well, let's try it. Let's try something new. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's stop arguing with the. I, I, this is one thing about sports. I, it, it gets annoying. And it's kind of repetitive, and both sides do it all the time. It's that's like the, our own version of politics, where, well, you said that like ten weeks ago about how I this, and so ha ha, well, that more because people and like now, you, because no, no, no. people like you, you, I want solutions, not debate over what we did. You don't even come up with solutions. So how are you gonna I, tell us come up with solutions? You, what's the solution? What? I, my my thing is right now the Mavericks need to do something to add another guy with a scoring ability on this offense right now because I think they took too much away. I think they sacrificed too much of their offense to add to their quote-unquote defense, and it's kind of fucking them over right now. Do you know why that is? Because they trade away Seth Curry, and now KP, we have to rely on KP, and he's not back to normal yet, right? Your guy, remember yesterday I, you wanted to argue with me about your guy, yes, Luca. Luca, when I told yeah. you, he got in a press conference and said what the problem is. He stated what the problem is. I'm shooting oh, yeah, that, bad that. shots. Yeah, he is. And he's getting better at it. He's going to get How better get at it. But overall, Luke is not the problem. I didn't say Luke was the problem. But he, he knows what's going on. Okay, yes. So right. he's not, a, he's not Walt, a big problem, but he's I part of the problem. I want to Walt, if you know so high and mighty, that's great. Mm -hmm. Tell me the solutions. Stop. This, we need to go. Well, Mavericks fans say this, so I told them this. Well, what's your solution? Tell me your solution to the problem. If you're I, a, I, just, I gave it to you. You want to tell me about, well, this guy doesn't fit here. He, he might fit here. He no, don't play here. I gave you a solution. Right, I gave you right solutions now, all the time. There's not a, a solution that we can have. What, what are some uh, – we talked about it. In the I've told you. Get your break. ass in the, dra in the draft and draft no, no, people. No, no, you no. won't have this problem. Okay. So right now, we're talking about right now. What is the solution for the Mavericks going forward? What do they need to do? What solution? they got a lot of shit to Thank do. You, I mean, in, in fact, I mean, you, you got a guard. Uh, you have to defend the rim because right now your only protector is uh, number six. And then, of course, you got Willie Colley Stein, who everybody wants to be like Tyson Chandler, but like, like newsflash, he's not. Uh, he doesn't have, you know, the, uh, the bravado that uh, Tyson Chandler had. He looks like him, but, I mean, that's about it. And so I, it, it's really an issue with, with this team right now. But at the same time, you do have a top five player on your team in the league. And so he's gonna have to play like a top five player. He yeah, did. that's your solution. He, you he want did. you? Hold on, Vice. Only because y'all see last night you put you put it on everybody else, but you didn't put it on Luca no, last right. night. Yeah, really that's did. your solution. Right. Stop giving him a pass. Okay, but you, all right, fine. He did 15 points, four of 11, seven rebounds. Nine, that was bad. But the night before in the Chicago game, which you uh, said that he did terrible. I didn't say he did terrible. Well, you were giving. He said he made, he made he took bad shots again. Okay. He scored 30 points. 
But I told you before, like one time they no, see, I scored, said, yeah, I scored, said he scored thirty six. I said, okay, well, good, that's good. He's scoring thirty. He's scoring these points, but they're not affecting the uh, game. Uh, okay, okay, that's fine. So, last uh, five games, fifteen points, thirty six points, twenty eight, thirty four, twenty, thirty eight, thirty three. Didn't play twenty seven, and then going back to December thirtieth, twelve. He's averaging how many L's? How many L's at twenty seven point two? Okay, but I mean, again, he can't do everything on the floor. So my point is he needs help. You do need help all the time. Oh, now he need help. But he does. Because uh, most of those games, KP was just got back from uh, about half of those. KP just got back. And then, of course, we we're missing, I guess, four members of COVID. And the guys whoa, who whoa, they hold on, hold on, hold on. Because hold on. he was I'm MVP. Done yet. No, hold on. I'm going to stop you because he was MVP. He was ranked MVP before KP got back. Yeah, I know. So, before but, the No, he said he was not. He has the odds to win the MVP. You and we were his sure. MVP. Yeah, I thought so. But he, clearly this team was overrated going yeah, into the season. Yeah, remember you said they're going to play. They're going to be, they're gonna be a number two don't, seed. But don't everyone need help? Doesn't every superstar need just as much help? We we, we, we know that LeBron, we, we go on him, but LeBron does still need help. He can't do it on his own. You say he does need help? Everybody right, does. Right, right. My, but, you know, if LeBron, so, but here's the thing, though. When my, LeBron loses the game, just like last night, mm -hmm. when they lost to the Golden State, guess who got the blame for it? LeBron. Yeah. How did LeBron get the blame? They, they, they did it. LeBron lost to who? LeBron who? lost to, who? Everybody. LeBron who lost there, to uh, no, 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 no. I want to find out who is everybody. Watching? Everybody. Social media. Every, even on because TV. I, on I'm TV. Not, I'm not seeing the same thing you've seen. Well, I'm seeing. See, see, they, my like, guy took the blame. I think Walt, but I'm losing. Walt, I, think, I think you're trying to make your guy take the blame so that when he has a 40 point game, you're like, <laughs> no, hey, we are, I don't need to do that. I don't need to. My guy took the blame. No, that's, that's what you're doing. I'm not. My guy lost because no, no. He shouldn't be taking the blame because his team is better than what you know. It was, but but in the fourth quarter, I'll give you this though. In the fourth quarter, LeBron went cold. Like LeBron only LeBron only had like. 16, 17 points. Okay. But that's right. He, that is, it is his fault. We're rightfully so. But you not, can't be, But it's not, though. No, you can't. Because he has the help that he requested. He does, but he didn't do enough last night. He should have done more. That's fine, but he doesn't have to. Remember he, that. Well, Remember he, that. He's LeBron James. He's 30, 30, no, no, 34, no, 35, no, no, 37 You got to go get that dub. You got to get that dub. I'm confused on this. So in sports, okay, so who do we, what, what, what do we need to do? So Walt, or Tova said, Luka needs to, be, you have a top five player. If he plays like a top five player, that should be good, right? Luca, I don't know why else. You know, other than shot selection and getting better on the shot selection, he's doing his part. Another thing. Not, hold on. Another thing is not only is he getting the points, he's out on the triple doubles, meaning he's he's active on the boards. He's active on giving assists to his teammates, getting them involved. If his teammates aren't doing the other part, where again you got to score points. Great, you're playing defense somewhat, but you're also not making smart decisions offensively on your other teammates. Hey, you so, want to take this one? I saw you shaking. Well, no, I, I'm starting to see something that. It's a, it's a bad thing that we do, man, in the mm -hmm. media and as fans. I'm starting to see something. Go ahead, do it. Uh, Russell Westbrook aver averaged a triple-double mm -hmm. for two straight years. Mm -hmm. Never been done before ever in the game. Mm -hmm. They shit on him. James Harden walks around here just handing out triple-doubles like, you know, a, a Vegas strip tease uh, joint on a corner, and we don't like his game. Luka Doncic is the white version of both of them. Right. <laughs> And with, with, with less with less athleticism, but if we're going to elevate this dude and you know and pretty much call and ask for help, then I mean it's almost like he's getting I'm, I'm say it don't say it. It's almost like he's kind of getting the pass, and we're all you know and here we are babying Luca, but yep. we, we attack the same dudes who play just like, like him, or who he plays just like, and so like you know it, it's uh -oh. somebody had never said to me you know fair, somebody uh -huh. had never said to me. Harden cries all the time. Yeah, and you don't see Luka not getting back on defense uh, with his hands up. No, no, hold on, hold on. I will say this. Luka is, the guy see Luka get a lot of hate for that. I'm saying. Here. Here. Yeah, here. With basketball dudes, like two or three people. I like. I'll sometimes see Skin Way talking about that. I'll sometimes see Mike Bassick talking about that. I, I will say this. Other than that, I don't down, see no don't Maverick fans uh, talking about do, that. But you know Mavericks fans are not going to go against their own guy. They just not. Naturally That's what Tobias is saying. They need to, they need to, they need to start. Start yeah. getting on it. Okay, but fans are not going to change. You're not going to change fans. But fans you want us to come here with a solution. I you want, want us to no, change no, how no, we. No. You want us to change how we doing, but no, you don't no, want. No, you no, don't no. want them to no, take no. responsibility. I, I know. I'm, my thing. I want you guys on on sport. We are elevated. Okay. Make no mistake. We are elevated. We're not normal fans. Okay. Well, I'm not we're, a fan. Dude, make sure you. Sorry, I'm an sorry, advocate. Sorry, sorry. I'm an, an advocate. advocate. We're, see, you, we're not fans. We're <laughs> advocates. <laughs> we're on a I don't. I don't. I don't go out of fan. I just think that we would have a better conversation with if we go stop going back. Okay. Well, you said that, so I said that, but you. But we stopped that though. That was early. I know. I'm saying, but well, that's good. Right. But, I mean, we, we are really addressing the problem. The problem in the room 
Is, you don't want to believe it. Is that the Mavericks? Okay. Is that the Mavericks really because don't? So the, Maver- hold on, hold on. the Mavericks really don't have the firepower that these other teams have right now, early in the season. We have to understand that, man. We also have, just like your, your tweet said yesterday, like you know, Luke is going to leave because he doesn't have shit. But I, I do, I also do think that in his Luca soul, that he does have the, you know what, I can do this shit on my own. Yeah. Because he's done it, you know, pretty much in his career over there playing in the, in, in the other league. And so, uh, in Eurobasket. Now, here's the thing. Luca, Luca's game, Luca's game is get, get on my shoulder. That's what his game is. It's Jordan-esque. It's Kobe. It's, you know, it's, it's Harden. It's Westbrook. It's whoever else is more than likely, uh, you know, uh, uh, an alpha. Yeah. So, so, Luca's an alpha. He needs a better beta. Than what he has right now, you're 100 percent right because they uh, when he, when KP is healthy, he can't be that beta. But when he's ramping up and he's getting back to what he was, it's going to take some time. And so later in the season, I will predict that it might get better. It might get better seeing KP and Luca doing their thing. But in that meantime, we're we're losing. You're you're fighting the uphill battle. And uh, Cooperstein made a great point. He goes, "You're losing to these teams in the East. The West is already hard enough as it is. This is going to hurt your playoff chances." Two things that your guy needs to work on. That that's getting them in trouble. One free throws. Yes, yes. That's number one. Number two, in the fourth quarter, he avoids going to the basket because he doesn't want to go to the free throw line. Right. That, that's the, oh, you got you got number three. That's that's the main thing I'm seeing with him in the fourth quarter. He don't go to the basket because he know he got to go through that free throw. That's why he's taking those bad shots as he keeps talking. And then he it will work if he gets better at free throws. He'll be more inclined to go to the basket. I mean, I've been I've been told I've been at the AAC where nights where we couldn't talk to him because he was downstairs shooting free throws. Right, right, right. I saw that last time. Oh, I forgot what game it was. Just recently, within the last week, I was that bad performance with that, and then uh, they were on the broadcast, the post game, and Luca came right under right behind them shooting free throws uh another thing i want is that his maturity on the court needs to get up because his whole thing with the wrestling is kind of getting out of hand i don't know how they do it in the euros but like i mean every getting, play, i mean every right, play right. is a foul to him i mean goddamn, right. <laughs> it's kind of listen we make this joke that tim duncan was a whiner right that he was always whole whining career. yeah his whole career but from what i've seen luca doing it it's getting to the point where even i'm like okay dude chill just like, get, just get, like get back. Oh, you can't win every call. Now I will say this, in Luca's offense, they don't treat him like a superstar. The rest don't. He, don't, he just a baby. Not I, understand, I understand that, but it's that is unfair. The, the other, the other superstars get calls. Now, see, even as, is, even at the same. Now, see, this is where I'm. A, this is where I'm appraised where people say about the '90s. Man, you get yourself club upside down here. You better get your ass back up and run, and play defense. Yeah. Ain't none of that. <laughs> ain't none of that. Uh, sitting around looking, looking for a call. Get up. Go get back on defense. Take a cheap shot on them down the court or something. Yeah, who, who I grew it? up in the Jalen Rose in them area. Who who does who winds most? Luca, LeBron, or Tim Duncan? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> all three, <laughs> all three. But I will say this: as much as I was embarrassed by the map, by the way, and oh, is he gone yet? Who a wundu? No, what's the wundu? Is fine. Uh-uh, he's gone. See, that's another thing. Can I tell? I'm I'm finding him. See, that's another thing that Rick needs to start doing too. That the uh, the rookies need to give the rookies should. I always feel when the when you got the when you play against fast teams like Chicago, that's when the rookies need okay, to be. Well, every time he puts in the rookies, then they just do something really stupid. Okay, but this be- is the best time to be playing them because you don't have. Uh, I know you don't have your what's name. I need to see uh, Terry and Tyler and Bay and a wound do out there. I need to see what I got. Your girls put Bay? No. <laughs> so that's B. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so uh, to, just to put a bow on it real quick. Um. I, I think that uh, COVID is kind of helping Rick make this decision. COVID is also helping, you know, uh, these young guys get, you know, get some form under their shoes because, you know, when those when those other guys come back, you know, their minutes will dwindle, of course. But it's also, you know, it's helping Rick because, you know, he's figuring out, you know, what they what they can do, their strengths, their weaknesses, and uh, I'll give it to you when, when Jalen comes back. That would take some. Pressure he came back off last night, him. right? Right. Yeah. So when he comes back, back, like when his body is, you know, when he's acclimated to post-COVID basketball, it's a little bit different, especially if you have it. But uh, once he's acclimated back to running around and doing his Jalen thing, then that also takes pressure off of it. So, I mean, I'm looking up for the Mavs. Um, you, the name of the game right now is winning. So if you do that, these next few weeks, 
And it's a tough gauntlet. We'll be a little bit easier. Up? I'm getting ready to pull it up. They have a tough gauntlet coming up. Um, for me, I, I think Tovash, uh, you, you kind of stole it from me right there. I think that, that we need to just hold down the fort until these other guys come back. That's the only other option. you got to find some way to win. And KP has to he has to come back and help Luka out. You know what? That's another thing, too. They did, well, of course, Fox Sports Seth was another, another broadcast I had to watch. I see them. They 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 criticize KP game. I'll never hear them criticize Luka game. Never. Shots fired at Mark Followell. Not never do I. No. Oh, that's fire shots. Mark Follow, you can all three of them. Oh. I never hear. Them. Never. Hear Are you them. trying to talk shit about there? Why, why are you trying to talk shit about? I'm not them? talking shit. I love. I told you I love them, but I'm saying like, come on, man. What Don't give him Mark? a pass. But you are gonna kill KP. KP needs to take a better shot. That wasn't a good shot. Luca launches the ball from up there. Why don't you tell skin? You you cool with the skin? Yeah, why don't you tell skin? I don't. I'm saying it now. Okay. It'll be aired. I'm not. I'm not saying this to cause no controversy. I'm just saying. Okay. Damn. You be lay, fair. We should lay for this. We, we, we'll see in the morning when, we, <laughs> when he posts this show. If he tags uh, Jeff Skin, Way, Mark Follower, and Derek Harpenter. What, whatever. What we got coming up next? Man. All right. Uh, did you see that uh, ESPN took a shot at the Cowboys? They did. They did. Took, they took. That a was shot. very petty. I did. I, I did see that. But I'm gonna get to that in a second. But actually, let's take a break. When we come back. Let's go uh, around above the rim. And uh, let's talk about uh, James Harden debut. Uh, Kyrie is Kyrie has surfaced. We know where Kyrie is now. And finally, the NBA listened to me and Tovash. They finally listened to us. The the players might be getting the Aren't vaccine. Are you getting paid for it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Got to talk to Tovash. We got to work out our agent. So above the rim next right here on DallasOnAir.com. He now has 28 career triple doubles. 15th on the list, tied with none other than Michael Jordan. That's a pretty good name there, Hart. No question about it. Anytime you mention in the breath of Michael Jordan, we've heard that song before. They won by 10 two weeks ago against Dallas. <laughs> 